and react and, and yeah. Well, my, my opportunity to meet Issa was just very recently, and first of all, my sense was what a gentle soul. And what a creative man, and what a man that cares about the rest of mankind. And so as he took me around the room to look at some of his pieces that he was putting on the walls, he made it clear to me that we are to feel comfortable touching them, because they're very tactile, and I have enough sight that I can see the vibrant colors. And so it became art that was available to those of us that have little sight, but some. And so I thought, what a perfect fit. But he, his generosity. I guess I, one of the first things I said to him was, I'm always curious about why folks choose Winnipeg. I'm a great Winnipegger, love Winnipeg. I'm a true cheerleader for the, for the city. And then he began to describe to me why. And it became clear that because they embraced him, he recognized the need to give back to them. And to choose CNIB as one of its many recipients, I just as an organization, as a client, and as the chairman of the board, I felt truly honored and really touched. I, I tend to wear my heart on my sleeve, and as does he, because he often would describe to me the piece that he was showing me and how it was conceived and what it meant, and that even putting it up with a price tag on was a real difficult thing for him to do. He, in fact, said on more than one occasion, which is probably typical of artists, it would be like choosing a child to sell, but at some time, at some point in time, he said, I have to be somewhat pragmatic and pick one of my children, which, of course, in his case, translates to his art. So we could not have been happier to host this and for him to be committed to giving us some of the proceeds of his amazing creativity is immeasurable. It's something to give us a monetary gift or to buy something or to fund a particular initiative in CNIB, but to actually give us some of the proceeds of what came from his soul is really quite unique. So we're delighted. Just in general, I guess, a little bit more maybe if you could expound on Anissa's uh, uh, contribution to the art scene here and, and his importance and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, I am. My name is uh, Professor U.S. High, Nigeria's High Commissioner to Canada. I am honored and pleased to be here to attend the unveiling of the mosaic donated by Isa, and uh, also to say how, how pleased I am to join you to celebrate this icon of art who has very well represented Winnipeg and Manitoba, but also I celebrate him because of his roots from Nigeria. Nigeria is where Isa was born, nourished, created. He attended his first uh, art school in Nigeria, Lagos, Yaba College of Arts, Science and Technology, from where he understood and studied the first rudiments of arts. Isa subsequently became an instructor in arts and uh, would have continued to live in Nigeria but for the military uh, government in Nigeria at that time which made life very tough for everybody, destroyed the economy, and there was total despotism and uh, Isa had to leave in 1997 during the time of uh, General Sani Abacha. And in living, he surveyed all countries on earth and chose to come to Canada because of the peace that Canada offered. And when he came to Canada, Winnipeg was a place of choice. He came to Winnipeg and Winnipeg became the nourishing atmosphere, the nourishing climate, the nourishing ground from where he finally became fully rooted and he blossomed to become today an artist that is celebrated among who is who of contemporary arts, not just of Winnipeg and Canada, but of the world. So it is truly a great thing that peace engenders creativity, and Canada has continued to become a 
place where artists find their grounds, find their vision, find their common purpose, and express themselves. Yisa has created a unique style in the arts. It is called layering and revealing. He puts on layers upon layers of paints and each layer is distinct and it reveals something that is different as distinct and yet blends together and presents a common whole and we can see this in an illustrative mosaic that has been presented to this institution. The mosaic expresses love, it, it expresses unity and harmony. And this is the art form that Yisa has made as a, his major contribution. He has derived this from the African folk tales and his own African upbringing and his Nigerian uh, uh, artistic uh, philosophy, which is that art and his style become a way of fusing the different global uh, entities, colors, and different signs and symbols to present a homogeneous world in which the world becomes merely a local and a human village where humanity and the family become the same for the whole humanity. So the human family is amplified, is represented, is identified and emphasizing is as uh, art. I think uh, a lot of this art is particularly interesting, Yisa's new work. Some of it has more layers than some of his earlier work does, and I think that's particularly interesting. But when I look at some of the pieces, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. When I look at some of the pieces, I find that they're particularly peaceful. And I don't know if that was Yisa's uh, intention in the work or not, but certainly when I see some of it, I feel a particular peace. And perhaps it's the expanse of the canvas, I'm not sure. So whenever you're ready, just look down. Do you want my comments? Yes. About Yisa's work, about this particular work? Uh, any of the work, the gallery, uh, his contribution as an artist in general? I think this is a wondrous exhibit. This is so interesting, and I have not met anyone here tonight who has not been able to access the paintings that be drawn into them, and I think that's a wonderful talent, because that is the job of an artist, is to elicit some kind of emotional response from the viewer, and I think Lisa does that in a very, a very effective way. I particularly like this one. May I speak up? Yes. This is called this 450 miles per hour. I have no idea what his intention was while he was painting this painting. And I haven't heard him speak on this painting. But to me, this is what the painting says. 450 miles per hour, and if I look at this painting and I say, not in a car you don't. This is celestial. So this is somewhere above wherever. This is away from where we are. And this is maybe going into the light or the unknown or towards something wondrous. And I don't know what this is. If it was intended to be a wheel or if it is intended to be an access route to somewhere. But I like the fact that the light is inside the wheel and that we're heading. We seem to be, he's pointing us inward and towards it. And I think he has wonderful control here, taking the eye around and towards the lightest part. And of course we have his signature uh, orbs, the circles, and we also have, I would be very surprised if we couldn't find a spiral in this somewhere, because they are, they're just all, all pervasive in this world. They're delightful. And this is a particular, to me, a particularly enchanting work. I thought it was an absolutely amazing exhibit. I love the colors, I love the, the expression in, in so much of his work. Um, it's very, yeah, he does a lot of work with layers that I hadn't seen before in a lot of visual art that I've looked at before. And yeah, it was just lovely that he's, and it's great to see so many people here.